Hey, hi, John. It's Doug. Hey, hi. My fingers are a wee bit puffed out. We're typing all night. Hey, I was just, you know, just, hey, call me back if you have a minute. If not, we'll catch up uh, tomorrow. All right, man. Looking good. Bye bye. <laughs> Well, it's mask on time because we've still got a mask mandate here. And then I'll go in and say hello to Trevor from Neon Magic. Um, Trevor Gordon, funnily enough, who's making the sign. One must always wear a tartan. Looks like Batman's here as well. He's come on his Batmobile. And there's Trevor. Hi, thanks for taking my call. See you, mate. It's a mess. How are you, Trevor? Yeah, good, good. Very good. So, I'll say how this started. My phone rings and it says overseas Germany. And then a guy with a very strong Scottish accent rings up. Hello! <laughs> Yelling. <laughs> I said, it says you're ringing from Germany. Ah, oh, no, I'm ringing from Paris. I'll okay, go, what? <laughs> Ordering a neon sign. Fantastic. Oh, was, I was just like blown away. It's got to be one of the best stories I've ever got. That's a beauty, isn't and it? And what a funny guy he is. He's a good man. He's a good man. And we're talking, of course, about uh, Douglas Gordon, the, uh, the one and only Scottish artist who lives in Berlin <laughs> and Paris. And uh, Douglas is making a sign for uh, myself, John Higgins, and Susan, my wife. And the sign is to say, a lifetime of devotion, which if anyone knows is a reference to Smokey Robinson's song. I'll not give you the second line. So I've just um, penned it up in reverse, and that's how you bend the neon. Oh, really? And here it is, this way. So it's going to be a bit tricky, but tricky is what artists like. I get um, a paper layout, whether it's been drawn. These days, a lot of it's computer generated. And, and then basically, I reverse it. Sometimes you get reverse copies. And I just pen it up with the tube so I say, this is how, this is the tubes that start. This is an American glass, quite a small diameter for the... So it is quite complicated and I go, even though I've been doing glass blowing for 35 years, I still go, ah, where do I start with this? So sometimes I'll measure it up just so I know how much glass is involved. These are little graphite pencils, they're fantastic. They write on anything. And then from here, 
I just want to get this halfway around. And then I'm just heating those two sides. So glass doesn't conduct heat, so, um, you know, otherwise if this was a piece of steel, I'd be burning my fingers off. I can go quite close. Right. I'm just balancing it out. So this is quite a simple bend to start with, just back and forth. The only reason you blow in there is um, the tubes, the tubes um, collapse a bit like bending the hose, and you, I probably do really didn't even need to puff that. So you mark it, and that's where you're going to try and do the bend. Yeah, I like that word, try. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So there you go. Here's your first, Wonderful. first piece. So I'm just at the top of Tambourine Mountain, heading to the Gold Coast, which this is the electricity heading up to Tambourine Mountain, obviously. Anyway, I don't know if you can see it away down in the distance there. There you go, that's the Gold Coast away down there. So this is how you gas the glass. Yeah, so um, th this is one of your pieces. Lovely. <laughs> a life. <laughs> so you can see all the parts that you, you can paint out. And that's what I'll be doing, painting all those different pieces out. Mm. And then that's all being bent up, as you know, from a straight tube. There's just a bit of dirt on the front. And they're, they're the electrodes on the end that drive it. So it's hollow glass it looks like white but you know of course we've got that beautiful purple color in it so this is um a little bit of mercury it's a bit like out of an arnold schwarzenegger movie they're trying to trust me to be a bit low oh there we go that's probably way too much so i've got to have no sort of physical holes in it or anything like that um, and then what I'm doing that's just connecting up the wiring just to check and make sure that it's holding the uh, yeah the machine will tell me if there's any um, problems and then you can see the gas going in you see I want to go about to where that 9 is there you go Turn the turbo off, turn the power down helps the rest. And there you are. See how it's dull? Yep. Without the mercury, that's what it would be like. And then I just um, light it up. Always just have a little bit of gas there to start with, just to warm it up. You, you know, you, you can crack the glass and then it, you've got to start all over again. And see the way it's actually, I'm not touching it, but see the way it's drawing in? Yep. It's because of the vacuum. Our life. <laughs> There's a mercury rolling around in there. <laughs> so just, and give it a few minutes and that'll brighten up. It's a lovely colour. It is, it's funny, the camera doesn't pick it up. 
No, it's it's funny with the phone, the it's iPhones. Weird, isn't it? It, it's, it picks up the weight off it. Are you going to send this to my there. cousin in in Paris? Yes, I think he's in Berlin now. <laughs> is he? Yep. Oh, that's where all the good artists are, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it looks magic. Neon magic. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>